Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology, and I will be presenting to you the substitution method. Now, the substitution method is used with uh, two equations and two unknowns, and that's what I'm going to use it for. Uh, it is also known as an exact method, meaning that uh, you could take those two equations and you could plot them up as two lines. Now, the intersection of those two lines uh, is the solution of the set it is an x and y value or two values however with the substitution method we are not plotting and we are not uh, picking that that x and y value picking an x and y value would uh, introduce an error and that's why the substitution method is considered to be an exact method and this would not be an exact method this is just showing you that that common that common uh, intersection is really the solution it's common in both lines and that's what we're going after with the substitution method let's go and look at the procedure now for for the substitution method number one is isolate a one isolate one unknown in terms of the other in the simplest equation so that's the the first step substitute that variable into the second equation and solve for the first variable okay and then substitute the first variable in the first equation and solve for the second variable you're going to check your answers in both of the equation right it has to be the common point in both of the equation let's go and look at uh, a couple of equations I have one equation here and a second one here we know that these are going to graph to be lines because of the simple reason there's no square term or cube term or any of that kind of stuff so we know that these are line equations right I'm going to look uh, for the simplest of the two equations to actually isolate either an x or a y. And when we look at the uh, simplest equation, usually it's easiest to isolate a variable if it has a coefficient of 1, and there is where it is. So I'm going to take this particular equation here, and I'm going to isolate y on the left-hand side, everything else on the, the right-hand side. And this is the uh, equation right here. For me to isolate y on the left-hand side, I have to take these two terms to the other side. When we take a term over an equal sign, we change the sign. So when we have uh, 2x, we're going to take it over to the other side. It becomes minus 2x. And minus 5 becomes plus 5. So I have isolated y by itself, and I have everything else on the right-hand side. Now, this particular ter uh, two terms that I have here, y is equal to this. I am going to substitute this into this equation for y. And I'll explain in the next slide uh, why I'm doing that. When I substitute that for y in here, if you notice, this equation now no longer has two variables it only has one and that is an x variable now when you have one equation with one unknown you could solve that equation the only thing that we have to do is uh, simplify this I'm gonna first multiply the 2 times uh, minus 2 times minus 2x will give you plus 4x minus 2 times uh, 5 will give you minus 10 and there you, you could see it more clearly that we only have one variable in the equation I'm going to put together these like terms that uh, 3x plus 4x will give you 7x and minus 10 plus 7 will give you minus 3. So if we were to solve for x, I'm going to take the minus 3 over to the other side. It becomes a plus 3 and I'm going to divide by 7. So I have a value for x of 3 divided by 7 or 3 sevenths. Now I'm going to take this value and substitute it back into the uh, original equation that I isolated y for and there it is okay that that was the original where I isolated y so I'm going to substitute the uh, the x value into that and that's where it is I'm going to multiply this out and simplify it minus 2 times minus 3 will give you minus 6 7 and that's where it is right there okay now when you look at the 5 here I've changed the 5 I've changed it to 35 over 7. This is what you call an equivalent fraction. The reason why I changed uh, the value, well, not, I didn't change the value. 
the appearance of five, the appearance of five is because I wanted the same denominator in both of the terms. Now, the reason for that is, if I have the same denominator, I could algebraically add the numerator and keep the denominator. Now, when we look at 35 over seven, it's really five. If you divide this into 35, you still have five. So the value hasn't changed change of uh, this particular term, but the appearance did. Okay, now I'm going to solve this. I'm going to just uh, minus 6 plus 35 will give me 29 in the numerator, and that we keep the common denominator, which is 7. So I have both my x and y uh, values of that coordinate set of the intersection of those two lines, and now I'm going to go and check those uh, those numbers in both of the equation you have to substitute them in both of the equation so that you you could see that one side of the equal sign is equal to the other side of the equal sign okay i hope that uh, this presentation helps you with your understanding of the substitution method and uh, thank you very much bye bye